Hey, what's up? It's Sugar from Sound Candy Studio. Right, so you've got yourself a complete control keyboard, you've got contact, and you've got complete control, but you're using an application outside of it, more or less standalone, and you still want to have access to that light guide. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so let's do this. Right, so you want to have your light guide on your complete control keyboard. This is how we're going to do it. Uh, just launch complete control, head, navigate to the top right hand side of complete control, just where it says the NI, there's a tiny little icon, it's the MIDI icon. Let's click on that. Uh, down the left hand side, you can see I have already made some, so let's click on the plus icon and let's call this one test. Okay, so we have our test. At the top, you'll see a number of buttons. It says knobs, buttons, keys, pedals, touch strip, page one, two, and three, and all the rest of it. Uh, we are going to click on the icon that says keys, and it will bring up our keyboard. From minus C2 to C8, you can see the keyboard. What we want to do here is we want to split this keyboard. So for instance, let's just say uh, we want to do a split between say C2 and C3, and we want that to be orange. Okay, so let's just hit the, hit the split button. It will split right here. It always splits 50% of your uh, target area. Uh, so we want that tiny, we want blue on either side and orange in the middle. So let's just split this one, the blue side again. You can do either the blue or the fuchsia, it doesn't matter. Let's just split any one of them. Now you can see it's starting to build. So let's just drag this to say C2. Uh, and also let's drag this across a tiny bit more. Let's just say to here. So we have blue on the left, uh, orange in the middle, and we want blue on the right. Let's just simply highlight the fuchsia color here or purple. Uh, we're going to go to the color section here, scroll down until we see blue. And if you look at the keyboard, you can see the keyboard is going to mimic exactly what we're doing on the screen. Uh, and that is really all you need to do. You can keep splitting these as much as you want, but if you then decide, uh, for instance, ah, you know what, I don't want this blue hair, or it should be short, so we can grab, the, we can simply click on it and drag these icons left or right. Uh, and if we then decided that we actually don't want this at all, at some point, now, later, we can simply click on the tiny little icon here, which will allow us to get rid of it. So we can then go back to our default by clicking on the top left-hand corner or right-hand corner of these boxes, and it will give us back our all the keyboard as it was when we started. Well, not quite as we were, because we were actually on the blue. And this is how you just get it back to the default. Uh, and then if we make if we made an error in doing this, we simply need to go across. If we wanted to delete this one that says test, we can simply go across. If we right click, by the way, on this, we can rename it. So if we named it something and we decided to change it, we can simply click on rename. Or if we decided that we wanted to get rid of it, we can simply click and get rid of it. So that by default, we have template number one, and I've got a number of uh, sections here, and that really is all you need to do. Uh, when you then uh, exit this program, simply click on the MIDI icon once again, it will disappear, and now you don't need to launch complete control if you're using a standalone app which is outside of that uh, ecosystem, and your light guide will still appear. On your keyboard, all you're going to need to do is hit the MIDI button, then you have a, set, a bunch of presets. Uh, at, it says presets up and presets down. You can simply scroll through, find the one that you want, and voila, there you are, done. That's it for me. Take care for now. Bye-bye.